Microfracture is a technique used to try and return cartilage to an area of damaged cartilage within the knee. The probe here shows an area of damage with loose cartilage around the periphery of the defect. As you can see, the probe is able to lift up these loose edges to display the damage. The base of this defect shows a very thin layer of fibrocartilage, which will also need to be removed to expose the subchondral bone. Initially, a curette or similar instrument is utilised to remove the loose edges to the cartilage around the defect. This curette can also be used to scrape the fibro cartilage off the bone to display a clear bone surface underneath, which we can see here as the yellow surface. This process may take some time as care is needed to ensure that all the loose cartilage is removed and an adequate bony surface is prepared. Once all the loose cartilage is removed from around the edges, you'll see there are bits of cartilage floating in the knee and typically a shaver or a sucker is inserted into the knee to remove all these pieces of cartilage so they don't cause any further damage. Once this is done, a probe is inserted into the knee again to assess the size of this defect. Here, the end of the probe is approximately five millimeters in length and hence this defect is one centimeter across by one and a half centimeters in length. Following this, an awl is inserted, or a chondrotome, which is used to make small holes in the bone. A series of holes is made around the periphery of the defect initially, uh, spacing these a few millimetres apart. Following this, the holes are made in the centre of the defect to a pattern is achieved where there are holes throughout the whole of this area. The idea is these holes allow bleeding into the surface and a small blood clot will form over this bony cartilaginous defect. Over time, cartilage cells will migrate into this blood clot and will form new cartilage to fill this defect. While this cartilage is not as good as the initial original highline articular cartilage, uh, this is a reasonable um, surface to have following an injury like this. At the end of the microfracture, the shaver or sucker is again inserted to remove any pieces of bone or cartilage which may have become loose during the procedure. The rehabilitation process following the operation typically requires a period of weeks on crutches with minimal weight bearing.